back. You know, Mike. Mike who? Mike! Don't you remember the big hullabaloo when he left? What? He's back? Who let him in the building? The boss did. He actually ran out into the parking lot, gave him a big hug, and personally escorted him in. Yeah, and he gave him his old office back. And you know what? He kept it exactly the way Mike left it. You're seriously telling me that he's just gonna welcome him back into the company? And after everything he did, throwing that huge fit, claiming he was so mistreated, cashing in all of his stock options, and demanding that huge severance package? I would have thrown him out on his ear with nothing and told him to never come back. I know. I cannot believe the boss caved in to all his demands. And now he's letting him right back in? What is he thinking? He must be some kind of glutton for punishment. I know. I wouldn't have let him within a mile of this place. Has anyone told Kim? Are you kidding me? She's going to explode. When the boss gave Mike that promotion Kim thought she deserved, and then six months later, Mike walks out with all that cash? Yeah, and then the boss gave Kim the promotion. And she was mad about that too. I was mad for her. The whole thing just wasn't right. Well, someone has to tell her. She deserves to know before she just walks into the boardroom with Mike sitting in there. So, who's gonna tell her? Not me. Me either. Why are you guys looking at me? I'm certainly not gonna tell her. Someone has to. I know, let's do rock, paper, scissors. Real mature solution. Besides, you can only do that with two people. So who's gonna tell her? How about we draw straws? Short straw loses. Okay with me. Let's do it. Whatever. Ugh, oh, man, I knew it would be me. Better go now. We meet in the boardroom in 10 minutes. Pray for me. She's gonna be so ticked off. I know. Tell her not to shoot the messenger. Ha, real funny. <laughs> Wish me luck. It's time for us to begin. You know how important it is for me to be punctual. You all remember Mike. Mike, so you're back? Hasn't been the same around here without you. Where's Kim? Restroom, maybe? I think I saw her by the copier. Uh, uh I, I think, think her, her mother husband called. called. No, you're, you're right. It was, it was her husband. No, it probably was her mother. Have you ever talked to that woman? She has a really deep voice. Kind of sounds like Cher, if you know what I mean. Do you remember I Got You, Babe? Cher sings lower than Sunny. It's crazy. How can a woman sing that low? Okay, what is going on? Well, we saw the two of you coming back into the building, and we thought Kim should know that Mike's back. So I drew the short straw, and I had to be the one to tell her. Oh, you did, did you? How did she respond? Not well. She said if Mike's back, she's gone. I think she's in cleaning out her office right now. Sorry, Mike. If you'll excuse me, I think there's a conversation I need to have. What are you doing? What am I doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm packing up all my stuff. I'm done, Bob. First you give him my promotion, and then he walks out of here with a big severance package. And now, when he wants to come back, you just welcome him with open arms? I mean, what's up with that? Kim, you know I have always loved you like a daughter. Well, you've got a pretty strange way of showing it. Do I? What if it were you who had something tick you off around here and you decided to leave? Then, after a while, you figured it out and you wanted to come back. Wouldn't you want me to welcome you back? Oh, oh come on, that is completely different. How's that? Well, because first of all, I would never leave. But, but he gets to have his cake and eat it too? That's not fair. 
Granted, it's not fair. You and Mike were part of the company from the very beginning, and I treated you just like my own children. Don't you think he deserves a second chance? No, I don't want to give him a second chance. He blew it. He should have to pay the price for what he did. What if I want to give him a second chance? I, I cannot believe you're treating me like this. You say you love me like a daughter, and then you throw this all back up in my face? You call that love? Yes, I do. You're not looking at the big picture, Kim. He has taken all of his stock options. He took his severance early. He has to start over. You, on the other hand, have all of that intact and all of the resources of the company are at your disposal. I cannot believe you let him come back. I had to. I love him. Just like I love you, Kim. Oh, oh, that's rich. First he uses you for his own ends, and then he takes advantage of you in every way possible. And now you have the audacity to come in here and tell me that you love me just like you love him? Do you have any idea how loyal I am? I'm here at work every day. I give my best to you and to the company. And, and what do I get? Oh, I get a pat on the back. But Mike, oh, Mike, you roll the red carpet out for him. And now you've got the nerve to come in here and tell me that you love him just like you love me. That's right. Oh, all I can say is that if you really loved me, you would have never let him step one foot inside this company. I'm sorry you feel that way, Kim. Don't you get it? While he was gone, he learned a lot. I would like to give him a second chance. I'd like for you to give him a second chance. So I'm here today with a request for you, not from Mike, but from me. What's that? Please reconsider and join the meeting. 